hello and welcome to the channel on today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you a requested video of how to sew a kimono jacket with an open beaded back so if it's your first time viewing my channel please hit on the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for supporting my channel so let's dive right into today's video today's video will be making an open kimono so here i have is two yards so I'm going to be doing all my cutting at once. So this is exactly two yards I'm going to be using for this. So all you have to do is fold it into two. I'm going to go ahead, fold it into two. After folding it into two exactly, I'm going to fold it again. So with that, I have four pieces and I'm cutting it all at once. So I'm just going to pin down to avoid the form shifting. So, after measuring this, what I'm going to do is just to go ahead to mark 3 inches, which is my neckline. So I'll be using the full length of this fabric. So, from here, I'm going to be going down by one inch, which is for my shoulder slant or shoulder slope. So from there, I'll be connecting it down to the neckline. So after doing this, the next thing I'm going to do is to come down by how many inches you want your sleeve to be. So I don't want mine to be too big. I'm using 15. So if you want yours to be wide, you can go ahead to do that. So next up, what I'm going to do is to measure my shoulder to waistline. I'm going to measure my shoulder to waistline. Marking that my hip point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to mark the hip side conference divided by four. So I'm going to mark and I'll go ahead to measure out four inches allowance because that's what I want to use for this. You can go ahead to use five. So totally, I have 15 and I'm just going to go ahead to measure that 15. So what I'll do is I'll connect this, my sleeve, down to that 15 inches and I'll take that 15 inches right to the end of my fabric. This way. So... So now the next thing I will do is to go ahead and cut out the shoulder part of this pattern. So after I'm done cutting that side also, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the side pattern of this dress. So the next step I'm going to take from here is to mark 3 inches. That 3 inches I marked at the neckline, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take it down to my pattern. So after I'm done marking it to the end of the pattern, I'm going to go ahead to draw a straight line and I'm going to connect it from the beginning of the dress down to the end of the dress. Now this part that you have marked out, you're going to go ahead to cut it out. So I'll just go ahead and I'm going to cut it out. So after I'm done cutting out, this is what I have cut out and I'm just going to go ahead to unpin my pattern. 
So after unpinning your pattern, you're going to notice you have four pieces of it this way. So you're going to be using two for your back and two for the front side also. So I'm just going to take two and I'm going to go ahead to fold it with half inch. And the other one also, I'm going to fold it with half inch. So, so after I'm done folding, I'm just going to go ahead to pick up that side that i folded and i'm going to place it this way and i'm going to go ahead and place the other one on it facing it the part that i have folded with a half inch for facing each other this way so now you're going to bring the other pattern facing it that's the right side facing the right side so remember on this part we did not fold it with half inch so you're going to leave about half or one inch in front of it this way and you're going to stitch up the shoulder line so on this part you're going to repeat the same thing make sure that the sleeve part is meeting first so you're going to stitch with half inch at the shoulder line so now after joining you have two separate parts on its own and you find out that you have about one or half inch in front so never mind we're going to use it to attach a fabric in front of the material for the front so that initial three inches that you cut out from the fabric that's what you're going to use so i'm just going to fold it into to, to this way and i'm going to use it to attach on the front part so now i'm going to join it together and i'll go ahead and place this stitch with half inch that initial three inches that you cut out from the front pattern and also from the back you're going to place it together this way and you're going to stitch with half inch so on getting to the shoulder point that is where you have this you can go ahead and stitch with half inch to that point so this is why we left that part so now you're going to measure about three inches sorry six inches that is three inches neckline on one part and three inches at the other side that's about about six inches but if you want it to be a bit free you can just go ahead to add about one to two inches to it so after measuring that out to make it more easier for you to attach just go ahead and use your pin to hold it down at the neckline and you're going to measure that six inches or you're just going to add extra few inches to it just to make it a bit free so after measuring it you're going to get that point and you're going to place it on the other side of the neckline so you're also going to pin it down with half inch so just like i said you're going to pin it with half inch and you're going to continue sewing with half inch down to the pattern of your dress do you get to the end so after i'm done joining this is what i have so if you don't understand any part of this tutorial please leave the question at the comment section so after I'm done stitching with half inch, I'm going to fold in half this way and I'm going to place it on top of the other half inch that I use in joining this fabric and I'm going to use it to turn it. So I'm going to fold this way and I'll go ahead to use pin to hold it down because I'll be top stitching on it. So by the time you sew this way, you're going to have a neat finishing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue pinning to I get to the neckline of this dress. So while you're pinning and you get close to the neckline, please pay attention because this might be a bit tricky. All you have to do is fold in with half inch. The first part that you attached your fabric with half inch, you're going to fold it in this way and then fold this other side with half inch place it together and you're going to top stitch on it so why folding also use your pin to hold it down so that it's going to be very easy for you to sew and you're not going to have issues when you're actually sewing it so i'm just going to go ahead and i will pin it down and make sure it covers the joining 
from the shoulder to the other part then after i'm done pinning i'm going to continue folding this to the other side of the dress also just like i did for the other part so once i'm done pinning the next step i'll take is just to go ahead and go over to the sewing machine and i'm going to top stitch it with this way i'm going to have a neat finishing so while stitching please stitch from the front so that the stitch will show only at the back and it will run in between the first line you use in joining the fabric so after i'm done sewing this is what i have and the back and the front is open the only difference from the back and the front is that the front i joined a fabric to it and the back i folded it into two so now what i'm going to do is to add fabric to the sleeve part i'm just going to go ahead and cut about two and a half inches and i'm going to use fold it into two and i'm going to use half to attach it to the sleeve part of this dress so after i'm done stitching this is what i have at the sleeve and the next step is to turn it up and i'm just going to go ahead and stitch with half inch from the sleeve down to the end of the dress and after i'm done doing that on this side i'm just going to go ahead to fold the lower part with half inch and on the other side also i'm going to fold it this way place it make sure it matches and i'm going to turn it this way and stitch with half inch and fold the lower part so after i'm done sewing this is what i have and this is what it is looking like at this point so the next step i'm going to take just like i said is to go down and i'm going to fold the lower part with half inch and fold in with another half inch and stitch on it after stitching the next step i'm going to take right now is just to go ahead to start beading the back part of this dress so this is the bead i have and i'm just going to work with this i've had this like forever so first you can use any bead of your choice you can use a glass bead any bead of your choice is okay so i'm just going to go ahead and attach it with my thread so i'm going to pass my thread through my needle this way i don't know if you're seeing it and i'm just going to double it up so i'll just notch it at the end neatly so and i'll be passing it underneath my dress this way just take a little and stitch on top pass it through that the fabric and i'm going to go ahead to bring it out so why bringing it out this is what i have outside this way and i'll just continue passing my thread so why i'm doing this is that after i'm done beading i'm going to go ahead and pass it through the beads so that i'm going to have an invisible finishing so now for the first bead i'm going to pass about 30 pieces of bead so please this 30 pieces is not a constant you can just use the amount that you want so please at this point if you find this tutorial very interesting and educative please hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so right after i'm done passing the bead next i'm going to pass it through my fabric so i'm going to pass the needle through my fabric and i'm going to bring it out this way and i'm going to drag my thread so after i'm done doing that what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go ahead to pass this needle into the beads again so watch me as i do that i'm going to go ahead pass the needle into the beads again and after i'm done passing it into it this way i'm going to bring it out so after i'm done bringing it out i'm going to go ahead to cut out the excess but before i cut out the excess i'm going to go ahead to tie it around it i'm going to tie at that particular point and i'm going to pass my rope and tie it this way i'm going to go ahead and i will tie it about two times this way and i'm going to go ahead to cut out the thread so after i'm done cutting out the thread 
i'm going to go ahead and tie the little one i have at that point also so why i'm doing this is just to make sure that i secure the bead so that it doesn't fall off while i'm putting on the dress so after this i'm just going to pass it in into the dress and you're going to notice it will disappear so after i'm done doing that i'm just going to go ahead and place my tape and measure where i want this bit to stop and i'm going to pin it down which i have done already so after that i'll be marking the intervals i want the bead to start so for me i want to use three inches interval and i'll just go ahead to mark three inches interval for my bead so you can use one inch two inches it just totally depends on what you want so after marking it on this side also i'm going to go ahead and place and i will mark on the other side also so i'll move over to the other side also and i'll just go ahead to mark three inches interval so just like i said three inches is not a standard just make use of what works for you so i don't want much bead at the back of my own dress so now i'm going to pass my thread through the needle again and i'm just going to sew at this point and i'm going to start beading again so now i'm not going to pass 30 beads again i'll be passing 27 pieces of bead so i'm just doing a difference of three inches for my bead so i'm going to continue passing my beads till i get to that 27 pieces of beads that i need so i'm just going to pass it through and i'm going to pass it back into my beads again and i will be notching or tying it at that point so just pass it into two or three pieces pieces of your bead and you're going to cut the excess thread you have and i'm going to tie it around that part so by the time you're done tying and pass your bead it's going to be invisible so i'm going to continue beading my dress this way so the next bead i will be attaching will be 24 inches three inches different the next one will be 21 inches the other one will be 18 and i'll do 15 12 9 6 and 3 so to i get to the end of my beading so this is my final look and with this we have come to the end of today's tutorial please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and see you in our next video thanks